The winds of this nor'easter have been whipping up waves, pushing the pounding surf on shore. This is what Mary Beth Parkinson and her son Jake saw driving to the seawall in Hampton after high tide this morning. Holy cow. The splash over the wall in, in all different parts of the seacoast was just amazing. Heavy wind also knocking down some trees, including in her backyard. Just making some breakfast this morning, looking out my kitchen window, and my eyes were like, whoa. All along the coast, the wind has been blowing sea water and debris onto Route 1A. A few braving driving rains to marvel. You're always watching that lobster traps um, or something else doesn't come flying at you. But right now it's trash cans. Look at down there. A state worker shoveled a thick layer of seaweed, sand and rock off Ocean Boulevard. While several miles away, a DOT front loader stayed on scene at Bass Beach, pushing debris back onto the berm seawall that protects the coastal route here in Northampton. This morning there was a lot of shale and rock coming over the seawall. Um, a lot of foam. Northampton police shut down that portion of road for about an hour and a half around high tide. The last time it was closed was during a three-day storm in January of 2015. Then, as now, the debris posing too much danger. With the rocks coming over, it can uh, hit a, hit a uh, windshield. And a matter of fact, I had to ask the officers to, that were stationed here to make sure they back away from the seawall as well. Police will be watching that stretch along Bass Beach again tonight at high tide at about 920, but they aren't as concerned. In fact, the storm hit at an opportune time in the tide cycle. The high tides this week actually a little bit lower than average, so helping keep things a lot better off. We're live in Hampton, Jennifer Crompton, WMUR News 9.